Hello, I'm David Smith, General Manager Partners for Microsoft Dynamics and the U.S. subsidiary. This video is the fourth in our series titled From the Cloud. Our session today is focused in on helping partners to lower the cost of sale as part of an integrated strategy for building a profitable cloud-based ERP or CRM practice. Now, in order to profitably scale a cloud-based business, uh, data suggests that partners should manage customer acquisition costs to 15% of revenue, including the cost of both sales and marketing. Now, this is a fundamental change to how most partners run their business today. The traditional selling model for an on-premise solution is both labor-intensive and time-consuming. It's not uncommon, for instance, to consume as many as 90 hours or more of a salesperson's time to close an on-premise deal and include multiple off-site sales calls as well as pre-sale support. As a result, it's possible for partners today to see their total cost of sale in excess of $25,000 per deal. These costs will prove prohibitive in a cloud-based environment given the lower initial revenue streams associated with these deals. What's needed for a sustainable cloud practice is a shift in mindset towards driving volume with repeatable solutions. Look, the move toward IT consumption as a utility is not only reducing the desire of companies to pay for more billable services over time, it's changing how partners manage their profitability model. Over the next few years, the health of a partner's business and the value it has in the market will increasingly be based on the size of its annuitized revenue stream. The faster a partner can build this up, the more likely they are to weather competitive and economic challenges in the market. In order to accomplish this, the focus should be on driving the percent of customers that are on a subscription-based relationship. Doing this is probably going to take some evolution in the business model that you currently have. For example, your current on-premise centric comp model probably isn't best suited for acquiring new subscription-based customers. For most of you today, leads are generated and passed to an existing on-premise consulting sales rep and designated as a traditional on-premise opportunity. The point being that you are still leading with on-premises when it comes to qualifying new opportunities. Add to this the fact that in many cases, your compensation model for on-premise consulting projects will be higher due to the services component. As customer buying patterns change, this can be problematic in competitive situations and will become more of an issue as the market continues to increase its desire for consuming business applications as a utility. One other quick point on this topic that's worth mentioning is the selling model for most on-premise sales reps today is based on a more traditional approach that includes customized demos, many face-to-face -face meetings, and ultimately equates to longer sales cycles. In order to rapidly build up the volume of customer ads required for driving heightened profitability with a cloud-based service, an accelerated selling process is desirable. We found that partners will find it easiest to instill this approach with reps who are wholly dedicated and compensated to selling cloud solutions. One approach to better align compensation to cloud solutions is to ensure that your sellers are clearly aligned with building a strong annuity stream. Given that most customers are going to be adverse to high upfront costs and more keen to pay for the service as an operational expense, you should consider having variable compensation focused in on customer acquisition volume and the annual contract value rather than billable hours sold. Additionally, you want to be mindful of how long you pay your reps for the annuity streams they're creating. Paying them into perpetuity is not recommended as it creates a never-ending cost of sale and demotivates the rep to continue to drive new sales. Okay, with the need for volume and rapid selling cycles, a higher amount of selling activity will likely be phone-based, especially with smaller opportunities. Partners looking to be more volume-oriented with their cloud practice should also set higher customer ad targets per rep. A successful cloud-based rep should target 35 deals per year as compared to an on-premise rep who today might close just 12 to 15. Explicitly focusing in on pure new comp models versus blends that include existing customers may also improve your ads growth rates. Now, it's also important to keep a close eye on sales costs and ideally under 10% of first year's revenue. Therefore, in order to acquire more customers and keep down cost of goods, sales cycles must be accelerated. As we've just talked about previously, as you build your pipeline for cloud-based solutions, employing the right type of sales reps, comp model, and increasing the amount of telesales-based engagement will help give you the best opportunity to shorten sales cycles and interact with more potential buyers. 
It's important to remember that a typical on-premise sales enga engagement requires roughly 90 hours of selling activity, and for most partners, that creates approximately $25,000 in sales costs. In a cloud-based model, partners should aspire to cut this to one-third, and where possible, and without impairing your chance to win, reduce the number of interactions needed to close a deal. This means that steps of the solution selling process need to be accelerated, not eliminated. All right, so where should you start? As you know, the number of large monolithic deployments of CRM and ERP are becoming fewer and fewer. Due to previous experience with these types of applications, many customers are looking to acquire technology to address a very specific need. If they are successful solving the initial business issue, they will expand the footprint of the solution. We've seen some of our more successful partners do this. A benefit of this approach is that it helps to establish the role of the trusted advisor while limiting the risk associated with deployment. Now, a final set of points on improving sales execution as you build your cloud-based practice. There is perhaps nothing more important than the initial engagement with your potential customers, specifically in the qualify and develop stages. First, work diligently to qualify prospects and be deliberate about leading with the cloud. On that note, it's equally important to understand how and when to disengage on a deal if appropriate. Second, partners should leverage the Microsoft trial engine along with the Dynamics Marketplace to help generate a relevant test experience for prospects. Leveraging this asset could help reduce the time required to create custom demos and costly time traveling to customer sites for lengthy meetings. Finally, the more of a consistent structure partners have to their offering through packaged IP and fixed scope delivery, the less time will be required for creating custom proposals and terms of service. This is the essence of how to build a repeatable solution. And with that, I want to take a moment to thank our partners and field team members who joined us today. For more information on this topic, as well as others related to transitioning your business, please refer to the Dynamics Cloud Partner Profitability Guide available on the Microsoft Partner Network. Please join us next time when we'll be discussing how to optimize your services delivery practice. Thanks again, and see you next time on From the Cloud.